push-up technique correct form variations and common error the push-up strengthens the upper body as well as the core it can be done in a variety of ways novices can start with simpler variations while more experienced exercisers can employ the more difficult ones the push-up can be done as a bodyweight exercise, a circuit training exercise, or a strength exercise. How to do a push-up? The push-up strengthens the upper body as well as the core. Get down on all fours and position your hands slightly wider than your shoulders to perform a push-up. The elbows should remain slightly bent, avoid locking them out. Here's how to perform a push-up after you are in this position. Pulling your belly button towards your spine will help you tighten your core and contract your abs. Inhale as you slowly lower yourself to the ground while bending your elbows until they are at a 90 degree angle. Exhale, then push your back up through your hands to the starting position by tightening your chest muscles. Advantages of push-ups The rectus abdominis and the internal and external obliques are the abdominal muscles that are employed to hold the body rigid during the push-up. The push-up is a complex exercise since it uses several joints. The rectal spine of the back, the triceps and biceps of the upper arm, the deltoids of the shoulders, the pectoral muscles of the chest, the gluteoid or hip muscles, and the biceps and triceps of the upper arm are the muscles used in the push-up. You frequently have to push against things in daily life such as doors and shopping carts. Push-ups give you the functional fitness you need to complete these activities by giving you the strength you require. Working out the shoulder stabilizer muscles can help prevent rotator cuff problems. According to a 2019 study, persons who can perform 40 push-ups experience fewer cardiovascular disease events than those who can only perform 10. Push-ups are a test of upper body strength that you may use to determine whether you need to increase your exercise regimen to keep your upper body in tip-top shape. Can you burn fat doing push-ups? Push-ups don't directly burn fat, but resistance training does, which can assist establish the calorie deficient necessary for weight loss. Additionally, gaining muscle might speed up your metabolism. But you cannot target reduced fat because push-ups do not target reduced fat on a specific body part. Now let's discuss some additional push-up iterations. There's a push-up variation for everyone, whether you are a novice who needs to make this activity easier, an advanced person who wants more of a challenge, or someone who wants to better target a particular muscle. Now we're at the point where we will discuss bench push-ups. This is a modified push-up that is carried out on the knees rather than the toes, maintaining a straight line between the knees, hips, and shoulders at all times. You must resist bending at the hips. If you made it to this point of this video, then you know that there are different ways to do push-ups, such as push-ups on an angle. To make this exercise a little bit simpler, you can also perform inclined push-ups. Place yourself some distance from the bench or table. Lift yourself back up after lowering yourself until your elbows are at a 90 degree angle using the same push-up technique as before. Maintain a tight core the entire time you're moving. Here's where we discuss push-ups with a stability ball. For more challenge and efficiency, add core stability exercises before attempted stability ball push-ups make sure you can perform roughly 20 simple push-ups. Yes, there are other variations of push-ups such as the decline push-up. With the feet elevated on a box or bench, decline push-ups are a more challenging variation of the push-up. Using only your body weight, you may change the box's height to change the resistance. Clapping push-ups. In this plyometric workout, you push yourself up to the point where your hands leave the ground and you clap while in the air. This workout is not recommended for beginners. If you haven't built up enough muscle, you might very easily get hurt. Diamond push-ups. The triceps barchi are the focus of the diamond push-up version. Make it a diamond shaped pattern on the floor. It is done with your hands clapped together with the index fingers and the thumbs of one hand touching the other. After that, perform push-ups, keeping your elbows close to your sides and your hands in the middle of your chest. Push-up with lat row. Push-up. 
In this variant, the top of each rep includes alternating dumbbell lat rows. This adjustment intensifies the workout, utilizing the latimus dorsi muscles and engages the core stabilizers. Instead of pressing against the floor, do a push-up while holding dumbbells in your hands. Pull the weight up to the chest at the top of the exercise before lowering it back down to the ground. Medicine Ball Push-Up Put one hand on top of a medicine ball and perform a regular push-up. As a result, shoulder stability is improved as the shoulder is worked through a somewhat different range of motion. After completing the rep, roll the medicine ball between each hand to perform an alternative medicine ball push-up, which can aid with balance. Now let's discuss common errors. If you are fatigued or haven't developed adequate core strength, it is simple to stop botching push-ups. If you encounter any of these problems, look for a simpler alternative to try. Having a middle sagging. One of the most typical errors is sagging in the middle, which is brought on by improper core bracing or failing to maintain a rigid torso throughout the exercise. To strengthen your core, you might practice using a modified plank exercise. Once you've mastered that, try performing a push-up on your knees while practicing maintaining a steady torso. Neck alignment issues. Your eyes should be on the ground, your neck should be in a neutral alignment, and the top of your head should be pointed away from your feet. You are out of alignment if you tilt your chin forward or lower your head so low that you can see your toes. Fixed elbows. You can make the error of locking your elbows at the top of the exercise if you are tired and in need of some rest. However, this puts an excessive amount of force on the joints and may cause strain or damage. Always keep your elbows slightly bent. Before doing another set, you should relax if you are tired. If you learned anything from this video, then like this video and share this video with your close friends. Next, we ask that you subscribe to our channel as we release great videos in the future.